is Brawl Stars gonna have a regular update once it goes global? I mean, I, I would personally be willing to bet money that it is going to, and I would also be willing to bet some money on some speculated guesses as to exactly what's coming in that global update. We're gonna talk about all of that, so I hope you enjoy. Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Kairos Time and it is time to brawl. Now yes, I do think that an update is actually coming out with Brawl Stars going global. Now Supercell has not specifically said yes, there will be an update with additional content, but we already know some things that are going to be coming in that update, and so I think it's completely fair to say that we're going to be seeing some other things. Now, the update is actually confirmed for December. We don't have a specific date, but I will let you guys know as soon as I possibly can. And of course, I will be giving you guys those sneak peeks as soon as I'm able to as well so make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you do not miss it out now once Brawl Stars is actually globally released Brawl Stars will have an update we don't know if it's actually going to be be right like right before a global launch or if it will be with a global launch and Supercell hasn't technically said we're going to be receiving an update but mark my words there will be a Brawl Stars update okay it has been too long since we've had like a legit update with lots of content in it and I mean they, they've got to have some stuff in there and on top of that we actually do know some things that will be coming with the update okay so first of all we know that we will be getting a star Shelly skin now this will only happen if we reach 2 million pre-registrations for the game, but guys, only a few hours after Brawl Stars tweeted out that they've already reached 1 million pre-registrations, which is just insane. So I am not worried at all. In fact, by the time you're watching this video, we probably already have 2 million. Now, if you go onto the pre-registration site and it gives it gives a little bit more clarification as to who gets that Shelly skin at the very bottom of the page, okay? It says, once a pre-registration goal is reached, reward will be unlocked to all players who have installed and launched the game before the end of 2018. Now, what this means is that any players that are currently playing right now and any players that pre-register and download the game beforehand will be able to actually receive that Shelly skin as long as they do so before the end of 2018. Now, this means a couple things. First of all, that means that you don't have to uninstall and pre-register to get the skin if you're actually playing it now. So don't don't do that. This is true even if you're using like a VPN or something like that to play the game if you're not in a soft launch country. But on top of that, that means that there will be a justifiable amount of time between the global launch date and the end of 2018. A justifiable amount of time where people will actually be able to get on and get that Shelly skin without having to be like, oh man, oh, I should have been a little bit faster. There wasn't enough time for me to get on and play. The you know what I mean? Like the update will, will not happen like five days before the end of, of, uh, of December. I, I don't think. I would... I would be surprised if that happened. Maybe Christmas present for everybody. But five days, I think, is not enough time for, for Brawl Stars to actually justify having a, a limited time skin like that. I think they're going to give people a little bit more time. That's just speculation on my part, but I think it's pretty good speculation. Now, in my last questions answered video, I let you guys know that I did not uh, think that Brawl Stars would reset game progress. Since then, they have tweeted out that they will not reset game progress, so you do not need to worry about that at all. Now, some people have been saying that Mortis's hat is going to be coming back into the Brawl Stars update and let's go ahead and take a look at that teaser trailer okay Now, at first glance, it does look like Mortis was remade with it, with that hat on there. So, that, like, he's going to have that hat skin or something like that. But, guys, I am really sorry. I do not think that Mortis's hat is coming back, okay? So, a couple of different things. First of all, if you look closer at the character model for that gameplay, that is exactly the same character model before his hat was removed. Even more convincing than that, though, if you look at the map that they are playing on, this is the old version of Bandit Stash before they made it so that Heist would have a safe on both sides of the map. This would suggest that this promotional video was actually created way back when the stream was actually recorded seven months ago. That, so that would mean that they recorded this and then they actually updated Mortis to not have his hat anymore with his new skin. And if you still don't believe me, Ryan did let us know that this was made before Mortis's rework. Now, I wasn't 100% sure if he was joking with us or not. And that's why I actually took a closer look at the promotional video to see if I could figure something 
now. That's when I realized that this really must have just been made six months ago and they're just releasing it now because Brawl Stars has been officially announced to be released globally soon. So no guys, Mortis's hat will not be making his way back into his regular character. I'm still really hoping for an original Mortis skin that will have his hat on there. I would just call it the hat skin that would be epic up to this point we have been talking about everything that we know will be coming in the update and we know that mortis's hat will not be coming in the update now we're going to go ahead and talk about things that i strongly believe will be in this ne uh, next update none of this is confirmed by supercell or anything like that but I would be really surprised if the following things were not added in the next update. Starting off, let's go ahead and talk about Brawler artwork. Now I mentioned in one of my recent videos that the Brawl Stars developer team has had a goal of redoing the 3D models of all of the Brawlers to make it easier for them to release more skins more frequently with a global release. Now when they first came out with the game, basically how the skins worked out is they kind of had to like re-render those skins as new Brawlers basically every time whenever they wanted to create a new skin and that increased file size and it also required a lot more time and effort to ever do a new skin. I'm not going to pretend to know all the details of how all that works out but from what I understand it was a bigger hassle and it was just not as effective. Since then they have actually decided to rework the 3D models of the brawler so it does not take as long and it's also not as difficult for them to do it more frequently to release those skins on a constant basis. Here are the brawlers that I believe have already been redone and we will probably not see any changes to them. First of all, Colt and Bo. I believe that these were some of the first brawlers to actually receive new character models. And that was done a long time ago. Then we also have Jesse, Mortis, and Crow who just recently received new models with their new skins. And then Penny and Frank. I believe that they were actually created after Supercell changed the way that the models worked with the brawlers, but for sure, Frank will not be receiving any new remodels because of his recent caveman uh, skin that was added into the game. The one brawler that I'm not 100% certain on is Daryl. I'm not sure if he was created with the old model of brawlers or with the new model of brawlers, so we may or may not see some, some Daryl changes as well. Now with those brawlers out of the way, here are the brawlers that I think will receive artwork changes. And this could range anywhere from like a big reskin like Mortis had, all the way to something that's just like really small and simple that maybe we won't even notice a big difference. I think we'll be seeing artwork changes for Shelly, Nita, Bull, Brock, Dynamite, El Primo, Barley, Poco, Ricochet, Piper, Pam, Terra, and Spike. That's 13 brawlers. And the artwork and the promotional advertisements would suggest some big changes to the 3D artwork for Spike. And this may actually be a sneak peek to the new artwork for Spike. I'm hoping that this is like legit and not like Mortis without his hat because first of all, Spike, he looks cute. I mean, that's, that's fun. That's adorable. Just how I think Spike should be. Okay, up next, I think for sure we will have some balance changes with this next update, okay? Penny and Spike are super strong, and I definitely think that they need some nerfs, possibly Brock as well. Additionally, I think that Colt and Crow need some type of a buff. Colt and Crow also need buffs, okay? Colt is one of the hardest brawlers to push in the game right now. He's like okay in a lot of game modes, but not great at any of them. And Crow also kind of falls into that same category. And before you guys say that, no, I do not think that Mortis needs a buff. I think that Mortis is the most balanced that he has ever been ever. He's not easy for new players to play, but a com but a top player will absolutely shred people with Mortis. Okay, next guys, I think we're going to be able to see some new skins with this next update. They've been remodeling the Brawlers, and I imagine they're going to be remodeling all of them as well, and I would be shocked if they didn't at least release one or two new skin with Global Relief. We know that they're doing the Star Set Shelly skin, and that's going to be awesome, but I also think on top of that, they'll do one or two other ones. I'm not expecting a ton of skins right now. I do expect that that Supercell has been creating a lot of skins, but if anything, I think that they'll release just one or two and then save a bunch later so that they can consistently release them over a period of time and kind of keep the hype up. The next thing I think they're going to have in the update is going to be some su server improvements, okay? They have to have more servers for a global release, and additionally, one of the biggest complaints that I hear 
it, of the game right now is that there is a server delay when people are playing um, that live far away from each other, okay? This is a definitely a problem that needs to be fixed, especially for like competitive tournaments and things like that. And I don't know if this will be fixed, but I'm really hoping that it will, and I would be shocked if this wasn't one of their high priorities. I also think that we are going to be having spectating being added into the game. They have been working on spectating for a long time, and we've known that for a long time as well. And we also know that spectating is a lot harder to implement in Brawl Stars than in other Supercell games, but it has been a very long time since they have been working on it, and I would be surprised if we didn't get spectating with this global release. Additionally, I think that we're going to see some matchmaking improvements. Now, this isn't going to be an actual part of the update, I don't think. I think that this is because there's going to be a much larger player base being added into the game. The higher you are in the ladder, the longer it'll take for this to actually impact you, as it does take time for those new players to catch up to those veteran players. But eventually, I'm excited to see top level players from around the world, whereas right now, they're kind of all pretty familiar names if you're paying attention to the top of the ladder. Now, we've just been talking about the things that I'm like, like 90% certain that will be added into the game with the Brawl Stars global release. Now we're gonna talk about the things that I'm like, okay, we may get these in the update. Things that I wouldn't be surprised if we got them and I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't get them. Starting off with a change to the event rotation, okay? First, we've almost never seen Life Leech or Robo Boss, like at all. And on top of that, I seriously do wish that event mods were always active in Showdown. And I think that the rotation is kind of in a weird spot right now and I don't know that people are super happy with it. And I don't know that Supercell is really happy with it either. So, so I think that there's a good chance that they'll do something to that. Now that we are going global, I'm also really hoping for a fifth event slot. I'm doubtful that it'll happen, but that does not keep me from, from wishing for it. <laughs> Additionally, I would not be surprised if we saw a new tutorial being added to the game. There's going to be a lot of new players, and it certainly is, the current tutorial just is not helpful enough. For this game to really be successful, I really hope this is coming, but I do not know if it is on their top priority list. I also think that we'll be seeing some new brawler voices, some voices to brawlers that currently do not. Now, in the last community roundtable, Ryan said he didn't think that that was super necessary for global, and I still think that they really do need to add the brawler voices in there. Um, I play with the sound on, and brawlers without a voice just make the game feel unfinished to me, so I wouldn't be surprised if they added those even though they said that it's not a priority for them. New brawlers, okay? I do think that Supercell has been working on new brawlers, because it's been forever since we've seen new brawlers, and that's some good content that we've been missing out on for a long time. I don't think that they will release new brawlers immediately with the global launch. I think what they will do is they'll release the game first and like have the brawlers ready and available for them to release when they are ready to release the brawler. That would be a smart way to try and keep the hype up after a global launch, so I don't know, but we'll see. Okay guys, now let's talk about what I don't think we will see in the update coming up. I don't think that we will see a ton of end game content. I know that it has been super long since we've had any real end game content added to the game. I think that they've been focusing primarily on global for a very long time and they want to make the most out of global as they possibly can for these new brawlers that are coming to the game. As such, this update I think will focus on new players and I think that the update following this update will be one where we actually have end game content being a priority. Because at that point, it is not only beneficial to the players that have been playing for a long time, but it is also a way to encourage those new players to continue playing because they're gonna want that end game content. As such, I don't think we're getting banned wars, guys. Let's give them some time to actually release the game first, um, but uh, hopefully soon. I don't think that we'll see any new game modes. We have plenty of game modes currently for um, a global release. If they do have a game mode planned or anything like that, I think that they'll probably save it for later. I also don't think that we will see any more changes to the progression system. The current progression system is really simple. It works great. They've tested ads. They've decided that they don't like ads. Um, things like that that they've really tweaked and refined for this upgrade system. And I think the one we have now is ready to stay. No matter what does happen for this update, I will be sure to notify you guys as soon as I possibly can and hopefully give you guys some of those great sneak peeks that you really look forward to. Additionally, guys, I have a massively insane announcement to make on my YouTube channel coming up here very soon on a video, so make sure you guys stick around for that. I wanted to give a huge thank you to my YouTube and Patreon sponsors for making my channel possible, and if you are interested in becoming one for some exclusive perks, make sure you check the link in the description. For now, this is Kairos Time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.